This Ag Vision program is made possible through the generous support of Syngenta Seeds, NK brand. The results you need, the freedom to choose. And by Farms.com. Ag news, market prices, ag careers, and farm real estate. You'll find it all at Farms.com. Welcome to Ag Vision. Over the past 10 years, farmers have embraced GPS technology. It started in the mid-1990s with GPS-enabled yield monitors. But in recent years, guidance systems, variable rate seeding, and nutrient application have become increasingly common on our farms. The question is, are farmers deriving maximum value from GPS-capable tools? My guest today says the focus of this technology should not be on simply gathering data, but rather on what he calls harvesting intelligence. Brent Van Conant, who operates AgriSkills in Carmen, Manitoba, will explain why success with GPS tools in terms of payback has more to do with how the tools are used rather than which make or model you purchase. The feature you're about to see was originally part of the Ag Day in Canada celebration. Karen Cowan, president of AgTech GIS based in Embro, Ontario, has many years of experience helping producers reap the benefits of precision farming equipment. While GPS guidance has become very popular in recent years, Cowan says yield monitors and data collection tools should remain part of the program. But no matter how they've entered the game, whether they've purchased a GPS or a guidance equipment first, or whether they've um, gone into data collection first, one thing that generally leads to the other, and they will find if they're at all curious, they will end up with both sides of that equation. Cowan says there have been significant improvements made to GPS hardware and software, which make it easier for farmers to use and benefit from the technology. Well, the, the whole accuracy standard is certainly a big improvement. Um, we've got better GPSs, we can do more with them in terms of better accuracy applications. So that's one big improvement. The next big improvement is the fact that they're compatible, cross-compatible. GPSs from one um, brand can easily hook up with data collection devices of another brand. The industry has been very wise to integrate and to use the, all the benefits of open architecture so that you can share data among different brands of equipment. So that's been a real key development. Development. The fact, too, that these devices can do more than one function. A yield monitor device, for instance, can also be used to monitor or to control variable rate application. Uh, the same device that's in the cab can be doing boundary maps and guidance and coverage mapping so that one item may have more than one purpose and that is has a benefit both financially for the investments that you make on the equipment and also for making one piece do many things throughout the operation. Brent Van Conant farms and operates a consulting and field research company called AgriSkills Incorporated near Carmen, Manitoba. He agrees that used properly the yield monitor represents the most valuable and cost-effective tool available to help crop producers make critical decisions. I think the yield monitor is sort of the core tool in farm management uh, because it's for the first time we really get, um, we get we get the ability to verify whether something worked or didn't work. You know, with a verification tool like a yield monitor, I can lay them out side by side and get my own data to support whether, geez, well, you know, that was, that was significant. I should do more of that and less of this. When yield monitors were first used, the approach was to simply map yields with the expectation that management solutions would follow. According to Van Conant, experience has taught us that a more proactive approach is required. Yeah, I like to call it harvesting intelligence because the, every year presents an opportunity to not just gather the crop, but to gather what happened in the crop and what made the difference for it to be better or worse than it was another year or sort of these compar comparisons between uh, you know, different management strategies. But you've got to be thinking about that um, before the season happens. You can't just randomly rip through the field, gather a whole bunch of data and then lay it out on the yield map and go, da da, now I know what I'll do. Uh, that rarely, rarely happens. Um, fall through the winter is the time to be thinking through what is it that's the burning question about uh, in my farm management about what's making a difference or not making a difference. Find a way to lay that out in your farm to compare them side by side so that when you rip through with a combine you're not taking two days to combine a field that should take one because you've designed how you're gonna how you're gonna harvest that intelligence 
Um, and then you have that comparison of the fall to say, uh, what I wanted to know, I, 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 went, I seeked out how to get it, I used the yield monitor to do that, and now coming into next spring, I have, you know, I'm in a stronger position to understand what are the things that are making the biggest difference on my farm. Most producers are compelled by GPS guidance systems because of the potential savings in time, fuel, fertilizer, and crop protection products. But this equipment is becoming increasingly affordable over the past few years. Van Conant sees an even larger benefit that is not as easy to measure, less stress on everyone. And now I think we really flipped over that any farm over a thousand acres has got to really have a, have a look at it. Uh, maybe even for, simply for the purpose of uh, operator burnout. Uh, to have the frame of mind to be clear and to either get the more hours in because yeah, you still feel good about it, or to be thinking and managing and have your attention on some other things while the tractor just goes, uh, goes straight up and down. Uh, we shouldn't underestimate the value of that in good management. Both experts agree that success with GPS technology has little to do with the make and model of the guidance equipment or yield monitor. It has more to do with developing or sourcing the expertise you need to make the equipment do what you want it to do. It's just knowing why you're buying it, planning on keeping, keeping with the program, which means um, get the most out of it by finding out what else can your equipment do and what else can your software do. Working with others who have that experience and continually learning.